Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From ESPN UK under the main headline of Russia Captain Denies Claim He Rejected Call Up. Summary of headline article. Artem Duba. One of Russia's all-time leading goalscorers. Denied on Tuesday that he had asked the team coach not to pick him for the national side because of the conflict in Ukraine. I didn't not join the Russian national team because of political issues. It's about family circumstances. But I don't want to go into details. He was quoted as telling the Sport Express news outlet. It seems to me that there was a misunderstanding. Coach. Valery Georgievich. Karpin. Misunderstood me. Or his words were misinterpreted. He assured me. He really wants to play for the national team. Karpin was quoted as saying. In an interview published on the website of the Russian Football Union. From Mail Online under the main headline of Rafael Nadal cruises past British star Dan Evans in Straight Sets. Summary of headline article. Rafael Nadal extended his winning run to 17 matches by beating Britain's Dan Evans in straight sets. To reach the last 16 at Indian Wells. Nadal who hit back from 5-2 down in the deciding set against USA's Sebastian Corder in the previous round. Won 7-5 6-3 against the British No. 2. Rafael Nadal cruised past Britain's Dan Evans to reach the last 16 of Indian Wells on Thursday he will play the USA's Riley Apelka in the next round. It's a good victory for me. So I'm very happy to beat Dan in the third round and happy to be here. Meanwhile, Norrie made it through the third round with a three-set win over George's Nikolos Basilashvili 3-6-6-3-6-1. From Mail Online under the main headline of Chelsea Ask the FA to ban Middlesbrough's fans from Saturday's Cup tie. Summary of headline article. Chelsea have announced they will not be able to sell tickets for their FA Cup tie against Middlesbrough on Saturday after failing to amend the terms of their government license. As a result of Abramovich's sanctioning, they are currently unable to buy or sell players, renew player contracts, spend more than £20,000 on match travel and sell tickets or merchandise. We are disappointed to announce we will not be able to sell tickets for Saturday's FA Cup tie at Middlesbrough. A Chelsea statement says. Middlesbrough have fully sold out their allocation for this weekend's FA Cup tie. It is difficult to arrange things in the best way possible for the FA Cup. But we will deal with it. From Metro under the main headline of Hamilton says Mercedes have problems and need four races at least to win. Summary of headline article. Mercedes British F1 driver Lewis Hamilton speaks at Expo Dubai 2020 in the Gulf Emirate on March 14, 2022. Hamilton and new teammate George Russell both voiced concerns about the ability of Mercedes new. W13 to compete at the front of the field. So it's not just an age thing. The Mercedes W13 has been struggling with porpoising. So it's good. The 2022 F1 season begins this weekend with the Bahrain Grand Prix and Sakir. How do the F1 teams including Mercedes, Red Bull and McLaren rank ahead of 2022 season? From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Live Cheltenham Festival results is opening day begins. Including Champion Hurdle. Summary of headline article. The biggest week in the racing calendar is finally back. As the opening day of the 2022 Cheltenham Festival gets underway this afternoon. In typical festival fashion the event is off to a quick start on day one. 
with one of the week's headline acts Honeysuckle taking to the course at the top of the market in 3.30 p.m. Champion Hurdle. The card will kick off at 1.30 p.m. Where Constitution Hill and Desert Dynamo lead the market in the Supreme Novices Hurdle. Before Edwardston goes out is slight favorite in the Arkle Novices Chase at 2.10 p.m. The wide open handicap chase then follows at 2.50 p.m. Before the feature race the champion hurdle kicks off 40 minutes later. Image. Getty Images. Getty Images. The Mayor's Hurdle at 4.10 p.m. and and the Handicap Hurdle at 4.50 p.m. come next. Before the day is rounded off with the National Hunt Chase at 5.30 p.m. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Cheltenham Festival 2022 schedule. Race times. TV channel and latest odds. Summary of headline article. Further watering at Cheltenham has been put on hold with conditions close to the target of good to soft for the start of the festival on Tuesday. The new course, where racing takes place on Thursday and Friday, is soft. Good to soft in places. Here is everything you need to know about the Cheltenham Festival 2022. From the latest news and odds to race times and TV schedule. When does Cheltenham Festival 2022 start? The Cheltenham Festival is not a case of separating the small races from the big races, it only contains big races and even bigger races. From Metro under the main headline of, other teams won't like it. Jurgen Klopp gives verdict on improving Arsenal. Summary of headline article. Jurgen Klopp is wary of the threat Arsenal will offer on Wednesday. Picture. Getty. Jurgen Klopp is confident Arsenal are, 100% back on track, and conceded he has been impressed by. The way in which Mikel Arteta has masterminded the Gunners' revival. I see them playing now and I see they have a clear idea. A clear structure and a really good team, said Klopp at his pre-match press conference. They have a clear idea of how they want to play football. It's possession-based and is young. Full of talent, full of joy. We play Arsenal and we cannot count points away at Arsenal now. More. Jurgen Klopp provides Mohamed Salah injury update ahead of Liverpool's trip to Arsenal more. Ralph Rangnick reacts to Arsenal's latest win and rates Manchester United's Champions League. Hopes for more stories like this. Check our sport page. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of Nadal tells Osaka to toughen up after star reduced to tears by Heckler. Summary of headline article. Four-time Grand Slam winner Naomi Osaka fought tears after she was targeted by a heckler prior to her exit at Indian Wells. But Rafael Nadal said tennis players must be ready for adversities. Tennis icon Rafael Nadal opted for a tough love approach in his advice to Naomi Osaka after a heckler's taunts at Indian Wells. Reduced her to tears. We are very lucky people that we're able to enjoy amazing experiences. Because we are tennis players. Image. Getty images. Getty images. Even if is terrible to hear. We need to be prepared for that. No. Do you think Naomi Osaka will will a major tournament in 2022? While Osaka's tournament is over. Nadal moved into the last 16 of the men's competition at Indian Wells and will face American Riley. Apelka on Wednesday. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Old Trafford is a crumbling embarrassment to the world's biggest football club. Summary of headline article. Pep Guardiola wanted five substitutions, so why will he not use three? From iNews under the main headline of Rachel Blackmore deserves more success at Cheltenham this year as the roaring crowds return. Summary of headline article.
Rachel Blackmore returned to the parade ring a winner six times. On each occasion she was met by the vast emptiness of a Cheltenham festival run behind Covid. Ramparts. Festival wins in the Arkell and Supreme Novices hurdle already marked Shishkin as a special horse. What time does Cheltenham start today? The 2022 Cheltenham Festival begins at 1.30 p.m. on Tuesday with the Supreme Novices Hurdle and ends at 5.30 p.m. on Friday with the Conditional Jockeys Handicap Hurdle. Race times. 1.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. to 50 p.m. 3.30 p.m. 4.10 p.m. 4.50 p.m. 5.30 p.m. Cheltenham TV coverage Television coverage starts on ITV at 12.50 p.m. each day and ends at 4.30 p.m. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.